I ain't gonna lie, bro. By the by the grace of God, this mic just started working, so I'm using it. I don't know how it worked, but I'm not complaining. But what happened last time we played this game? Uh the we this bro, the same four things have happened, the same four the last four missions. It's the same woman gets killed. Blame the husband. The husband doesn't do it. It's the other dude that the husband does do it. It's a bunch of bullshit, bro. It's the same shit every single time. Like, it's not surprising at this point. The studio. Just watch. Just watch. Let's just watch, bro. It's about to be the same thing. Same thing. Look. On the train this time, though. On the train station this time. She's drunk too on top of that. Like, look, he's lurking and he's gonna hit her with a crowbar. That's the same dude that's be hitting people with crowbars too. It's the same shit every single time. Of course we will look into it. Okay. Yes, I'm aware that it's an election year. Keep a hold of your hut, counselor. Now is not the time to lose your nerve. <sighs> Bro, it looks like a fucking it would appear that someone has hucked a rose gold wedding ring, a matching engagement ring. Sound familiar? Deirdre Muller. Press the pawnbroker and see what you can find out. The address is 348 South Main Street. The Muller case goes before the grand jury next week, and the DA does not want any egg on the space. Oh, so they just... Then get out to the railroad depot on Santa Fe. Pressing us. We have another poor unfortunate found this morning beside a railroad line. A 40-year-old white woman. Right, Skipper. <sighs> Jesus Christ, bro. Every single time, bro. Please, can we just ban beer? Or some shit. Another body. Every single time. Ring. It's not even like. It's the never men. It's have to all come women. To terms with the fact that he's wearing no clothes. Exactly bro, go outside the door. Your ass, Is that what your old man paid college tuition for? Bro, go out. Whatever. All right, bro. Let's go to downtown. And look at him just taking 15 years to get to the car. You've got to admit, this is looking odd. Nah, anyone could pawn a ring. But if you take it along with all of the other indicators... Cole, Hugo Moeller was identified by the school's groundkeeper. He's our guy. Witnesses have fingered the wrong guy before. He oh. ran, for God's sakes. And he always maintained he was set up. Bro, I don't get it. I'm not gonna lie. I don't get it. It just sounds like the exact same thing that happens every single time. Pawnbroker. What does this have to do with anything again? I genuinely don't know. All I saw was train okay, tracks. I'm not gonna lie. I did not listen to uh the boss. One Detectives bit. Phelps and Galloway, LAPD. You have a rose gold wedding and engagement ring? David Bremner. Am I going to get something for this pledge? No. Bum money. Now you guys are going to leave me short. How much yep. did you give him? 50 bucks? Try another number. 20? Try 10. Feel lucky you're getting it. I have the rings right here. <clears throat> he thought he was going to get some money from this shit. Show the damn rings. Hold on, I just press. What's this mark here? Maker's mark. Usually traceable. That one came from Hartfield's Jewelry down on Broadway. Hmm. Thanks for the tip. So what about this one? Or is this just the exact same ring? Does this mark mean anything? No, it's anything? a different mark. Hallmark. Gives you an idea of the quality. Oh, 22. Man, that shit does not matter. All right. What do you got on the guy who brought these in? He goes by the name of Percy B. Shelley. Hmm. Name an address. 15 Poland Street, London, Tulare County. Can you give us a description of the man who pawned these rings? I'm not sure. Medium height, medium build, dark hair, I think. Sorry. He just had one of those forgettable faces. We'll be in touch, Mr. Bremner. Nah, we're going right to him. We're not even going to waste time. 
Never mind, I guess not. Bro. Get out the way. That's not my fault. Bro, you on the wrong side of the problem. street. We could have the local troopers check out the Tulare County address. The address is bogus. The purpose having fun with us. No. Oh. The guy who's been sending the Dahlia letters is also the guy who pawned these rings. How do you figure that? Percy Bysshe Shelley wrote the poem that came with the Dahlia letter. Oh, I'm out. I'm out. I'm out. Percy Bysshe Shelley talking. wrote the poem that came with the Dahlia letter. If the Dahlia letters are genuine, then the man who killed Elizabeth Short may have also killed Deirdre Mullen. And how do we prove that, No. Skipper ain't gonna like this one bit. We're gonna have to rely on this guy tripping up on his own vanity. Nah, I don't get it. Slow and steady, There's no way on. I just ran into the freaking pole. Or the light. Whatever, bro. Let's, get, let's just get to the place. Bro, the amount of money that's going to be in them damage things at the end of this mission is about to be crazy. I don't know. I caused the whole car to go on fire. <laughs> Didn't that happen, bro? It's about to be bad. We should keep this development with the rings under our hat until we speak with the captain. We're all on the same team, Rusty. Chain of command, Phelps. The skipper will decide who needs to know. You got it? Whatever. Yep. Hart. Once again. Yeah. I look after all the rail depots. What have you got? The Negro, Nelson Gaines, called it in. I came down here to make sure him and the other guy, Jameson, stuck around. Jameson found the body? Something like that. Guy makes me sick. We'll talk to the coroner. Keep an eye on both of them. Oh. Same shit every single time. And it was a crowbar, too. And then, look, it's going to be someone like the ring finger or something. No. Well, probably not on this hand. It's going to be on the right hand. Right. Exactly. Another Every single ring. time. It certainly seems I've been swabbing a lot of bare fingers recently. Yeah, that's exactly what you've been doing. Exactly what I've been doing, nigga. We're tired of this shit. Give me something new. Okay. Smell? Very good. There is the usual evacuation smell. But it appears she's been living rough for quite some time. Very oh. strong smell of alcohol. Well, the autopsy will tell, but I would assume that she was inebriated. Can you be oh. more exact about the time of death? What the fuck are these no words? Two a.m. The state the body was in, a one or two hour window is the best I can do. It's about inebriated. I don't even know what that here. means, man. I'm gonna be White honest. White female, approximately 40 years of age. Lipstick smudges on the face, but no writing. At least nothing legible. A blunt force trauma to the temple, nose, and eye regions. Ligature marks point to the probable cause of death being strangulation. Any idea of the time of death? From her temperature, after midnight would be my guess. Hmm. Okay, what is this? Purse, give me something in the purse or nothing at all. We just need a name, right? Or we have a name, dear Evelyn. I hope the letter finds you a better way than when you last time. Better when you had an accused. I apologize to come home. Okay, what is that supposed to do with what are we supposed to do with that? I don't know. We could go over to okay. the lot and see what they know about her. That's going to be difficult, Cole. Keystone Studio lot closed back in 41. That fucking course. Oh, is there something else in there? Never mind. Just go to the, just go to the other shit. Oh, does everybody have these fucking... Maybe someone at Mensch's will remember her. Bro, every bar has a freaking lighter shit. That always gives it away. Every single time. This is a chit for personal items, not booze. It's an angle worth investigating. What? Whatever, bro. 
Let's just let's just move on. Where's the other uh pieces? Or is that just the only evidence here? What's your beef with this guy? <laughs> Look at this nigga, bro. Nigga done fell to the ground. Hold on. I want to knock this nigga to the ground. Hold on. What about you? You found Detective the body. Phelps and Let's Galloway. talk. Homicide. Can you tell me exactly what happened? We were shutting cars over to the main line when I saw this man here lying on top of this woman. The woman wasn't moving and seemed to be in a bad way. What time was this? About 7.30 this morning, sir. Thanks for your help. Have you given Patrolman Hart your detail? I have, sir. Thank you. You can go now. Hmm. Okay. Now, where's the phone? I need an address on Levine's Liquor, closest store to the Santa Fe Avenue rail yard, if possible. Just a moment, detective. Closest store would be the one at 939 South Hope Street. Thanks for your help. Bro. Oh. I have a bad feeling we're gonna walk in there and we're gonna have to chase a nigga, bro, because that's exactly what happened the last time. We had to walk in the bar, go chase somebody, then. Is there still more stuff here? I don't think there should be, but probably isn't. We probably have to come back here or something. If we survive this, it's gonna be a bro, I'm not, I'm not gonna lie, bro. I'm not paying attention. Bro, this is bar deep. Gently. Do you ever shut up? <laughs> <laughs> Nigga snapped on him, bro. Okay. I, I'm not, bro. I don't know. Just, let's, let's, let's just go on the street. Ah, damn. All these damn bars. Always something. But woman murdered, bar, party, something. It's always, it's always. We need to ask shit. you some questions concerning Evelyn Summers. I'm Walter Match. Evelyn Summers, what is it now? You knew Evelyn? As well as I wanted to know Evelyn. She's a pain in the ass, always coming in here, cadging drinks, never had any money. She was in just a couple of nights ago. Did she ever tell you where she was staying? I don't know. I think she was living rough. She had that kind of stunk about her. Who did she drink with? Uh, a bunch of these guys. Ask around. Like I said, ask around. There's one guy in here. What's your name? Grosvenor McCaffrey. Mind if I ask you some questions, Mr. McCaffrey? I'm just a starving writer, detective. What do you want to ask about? Evelyn Summers and why she was found beaten and strangled in the rail depot on Santa Fe. Okay. I see your point. How well did you know her? I can't say that I knew her. It was more like I was aware of her. Hmm. <sighs> it's interview time, bro. Did you see Evelyn? Not gonna lie, I forgot. No, I was at home writing. Yeah, I'm not feeling that answer. Do you want to get dragged into this, McCaffrey? Do you want us to get interested in you? She hung out with this powder puff, James Tiernan. Hmm. They haunted the public library together. How well do you know James Tiernan? I know he works some kind of plebeian job at Rawlings Bowling Alley. Hmm. Rawlings. I know that place. Corner of Ninth and Grand. A lot of cops bowl there on Tuesday nights. Man, my ass don't be getting invited to that shit. You have shit. a criminal record, Mr. McCaffrey. Nothing serious. I've had a few skirmishes. I'm not feeling. Listen, I'm not. I'm not feeling it. I'm not. You want to save me some time, or do you want me to look up your some file? Some skirmishes. Industrial disputes, strikes, workers' rights, that kind of thing. A regular oh. fifth columnist. Nice to meet you, comrade. Eh, Thank like you here. for the information. Two for two. We're leaving. We're leaving. I don't know, where are we going bowling now right now? I guess. What did you make of McCaffrey? There'll come a day, and it's coming very soon. We'll run him and the rest of his pinko buddies out of Los Angeles. I meant there's sure. a suspect, Rusty. He knows that shit's not happening. Just bring let's just get to the fucking store before he starts rambling and shit. I 
lie to you, bro. I'm trying to bowl. Yeah, I got a bowling option on here. I probably don't. Cook these niggas in bowl. Hello, Rusty. Two on your usual lane? I'm Detective Phelps. Homicide. You must be new. <laughs> What's your shoe size? Ah, uh, this is business, Florence. You got a guy who works here by the name of Tiernan? Sure we do. He's a pin setter. Clears the jams, works the gutters. Go right in. He'll be hopping around the lanes toward the back. Hmm. He's a nice boy. Thanks, ma'am. Let's go get him. Whoa, see that nigga running. Look at that nigga running. Look at him running. Look at him running. Exactly. It's always a nigga running, bro. Tiernan! Exactly. LAPD. Look at this. Always someone freaking running, bro. Oh my goodness. <laughs> oh my goodness. Is it real, bro? Oh my, is it really this predictable at this point? Every single time, it's always someone running after the woman gets murdered. It's just like, bro. Jesus Christ, bro. <laughs> And then we're gonna have to, I'm gonna catch the nigga. Get after him. We might go faster if we weren't carrying the extra weight. Fat ass nigga, exactly. These Get are the flashy fuck out cars the car. to be parked outside a bowling alley. The lanes attract a fast living individual with money to oh. Or a middle aged Bam. individual Bam. with the need to feel virile. Bro, them, bro, those, those Don't civilians go to sleep on me. Give me back in close. Look at this, bro. He can't hit a shot. Another He's gonna talk about. Well, at least we've got a suspect. Why oh yeah, we're there. we're there. I'm we're there. Sure got the wrong person and more they than one of these he literally just knocked me out. Okay. You know, your theories are not airtight by any means. Folks. Oh yeah, we losing that nigga. We're losing that nigga. We're losing him. We're losing him. We're losing him. This isn't the killer. We can at least get him for reckless endangerment. That's we are losing him. Saves us all the trouble. Oh fuck. Please don't turn. He's not turning. Because someone's setting them up because they feel like the deck is stacked against them. Bro, stop saying bullshit, bro. He's done. Oh, looks like oh we're going into goodness. the tunnels. God damn it, he'll kill himself. It's all right, as long as he doesn't kill this, I'm okay with it. He says this every single time. Get me in the right place. You can't even shoot. Oh, he's done for. That's the end of that. Exactly, you're done. Time. Fuck out the car, bro. Hold on, no. Let me get forward first. Let me black him out. Every single time. Chase. Said, bro, just, just get Put out of Put your the hands car, where bro. I can see them. Let me shoot him, bro. Because he doesn't right. He's just annoying. He's <laughs> just annoying. Didn't even give us a chance to interview the nigga. He just wants to run like a bitch. We're going to catch y'all every single time y'all do this shit. Like, right, come on, bro. All right, bro. I mean, we got the dude. Are we just going to interview him now? I ain't gonna lie. We taking this car, though. This car nice as hell. Fuck that old ass car. So we're just... I mean, like, we, we just got him. So I'm guessing... We're going to interview him after, though. That would, that would make sense, right? Unless we're going to look for more suspects. I don't know. Damn, I think I almost died. Tragic. Easy. Easy. Oh, that's my car right there. Never mind. Nigga, we are a half. I think. What can I do for you? LAPD, Phelps and Galloway. We're making inquiries into the murder of Evelyn Summers. Evelyn? She's dead? You knew Evelyn Summers, Mr. Robbins? Yes, I knew Evelyn. I was a good friend of her ex-husband. She kept some of her stuff here. Ex-husband. Can you show us, please? Sure. Hmm. Come this way. Ex-husband. Every single time. Every single time, bro. See, now you just taking too damn long, nigga. You gotta hurry this shit up. Just lead me to the point. Let us take some for the road. This case might get solved a lot quicker. <laughs> this nigga's a troll. He's joking, Mr. Robbins. Bro, where are we going? 
you just stand in there. I don't know where we're going. We're going in here. Oh, uh, we're going in here. She wasn't always such a loner. Hmm. Now, what does that have to do with anything, bro? She was oh, okay. Now it just hit me. She was living in here. Evelyn wasn't stupid. The only stupid thing about her was her need to drink. Okay. And she was borrowing books from Grosvenor McCaffrey. Hmm. Hmm. Interesting. Interesting. I mean, we already knew he was associated with her. But I definitely, you know, makes things more interesting. When exactly did Evelyn work in the pictures? A few years ago. She worked in legal copyrights for music. They go up. Nigga, how does she do all that and have no money? I'm guessing Evelyn hadn't held down a job for quite some time before she was killed. The hell is this? Oh, a bowling pin. Why she just got a bowling pin here? Well, go. Rawlings Bowling Alley. Maybe Evelyn did something other than drink in her spare time. I guess. Uh, is that it? What the fuck does that have to do with anything? Or is there something in the back? Hold on. No, it's nothing. All right, bro. We're done. We're done. We're gone. Talk to me though. What's what's the snake? Oh, he's just gone. Nice. Okay. I wanted to talk to him, but then he just fucking left. I think we have to go from up front anyway. Is there anything over here? No. Oh God, I'm trying to talk to you, nigga. Yeah, let's talk though. We're trying to account for Evelyn's movements yesterday. She came by in the morning. A social visit to pick up some of her things? She had a couple of bucks and bought a quart of rye. He doesn't even seem like a bad person. I'm telling you, okay, this is exactly what we got intuitions for. Probably not. This is probably not exactly what you have that for. Okay, I, that's what I was thinking. I was like, I would do good cop. Any idea where the money came from? She didn't mention it. But she did say the booze was a present for a boy. She said they had been fighting and she had to make it up to him. Hmm. Are Sounds you like, uh... Close, Mr. Robbins? How many people will be sad she's gone? I'll be one of the few. Hmm. Damn. I got the impression that Evelyn had been sleeping rough of late. It became difficult for me to have her stay here. Her mother was trying to get her back on the straight and narrow. She's old now. And to be honest, you have to have a good reason to want to get back on. Hmm. So this is just trying. You know a friend of Evelyn's by the name of McCaffrey? Not personally. gonna make me do bad cop bro we've been fine he hasn't been spe he wasn't specific enough not personally <sighs> fucking kill me we're struggling for leads Robbins. yeah <laughs> Did she, I knew it, bro. she idolized him from what i gather the feeling was far from mutual he seems to peddle a revolutionary stance fixing the ills of society you could see how it would appeal to down and outs like Evelyn. Thanks for your help. Mr. I didn't Robbins. understand a no thing problem. he just said. Hey, I'd like to make arrangements for the funeral. You think I could get in touch with Evelyn's mother? Hey, that's put in a call to the watch no. commander at Central Station, Mister Robbins. That's we'll between y'all two, to bro. To be honest, I don't really give Not a fuck. Guy, huh? <laughs> Evelyn never hurt anybody. You know, that's cool and all, but you know, I got nothing to do with this funeral arrangement, bro. It's, I'm just here. Where the hell is the car? Oh, here it is. 
Okay, are we going to interview the one dude or are we going to keep going around to we got to go back to the bar now? Even though we just were there already. Oh, hold on. Go. They almost crashed that nigga. Bro, why are you getting out the car? Let's not keep the man waiting, though. Are you fucking sick? Bro, why are you leaving the car? Is this nigga right He He's actually stupid, bro. Get the fuck back in the car. Hey, five for five so far. I ain't gonna lie. Listen, I'm I'm feeling it right now. I don't think I'm missing anything with this nigga. Well, the captain is downstairs well, with Ray Pinker and Carruthers. I don't know what the fuck that means, nigga. Just 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 interview the dude. I don't know what. Unless you listen, you paved the way because I don't know where the hell I'm going. Because be you decisive. know. I'm ready to do an interview. What's this about, Captain? Ray and Mal have some concerns over the Henry and Muller cases, which I don't want aired outside of this room. The evidence is solid, Captain. I agree, Rusty. It's just that corpses keep piling up. Copycats. I've been banging the same drum. But the notes and the lipstick messages. Evelyn Summers, cartel classic Carmine. Each woman, same brand, same color. Exactly. I've Raising said that already, nigga. Message. Technically, you're right, Rusty. She didn't have any lipstick, but she did have a message. We found it beneath her dress, scraped with a sharp stick. What did it say? You sure you want to know, Ray? Well, nigga, that's what I'm here as for. As far as we can be sure, it said cunt BD. That's one way. <sighs> Looking at what? The same Cunt's message, bro. All about access, those. You're married. Yours is mortgage. Some of us like to pay by installments. This guy doesn't like to pay at all. Why are you so angry, Mal? Because I just had to fire one of my assistants. He was a friend of Jameson's. God knows what he might have been up to. Captain, hmm. we have good leads in the Summers case. But it's up to you to decide how we proceed. Keep this under your hat for now. And follow up on Evelyn Summers. I want daily reports. Oh, Jesus Christ, bro. It's the same exact. We're just in a fucking. We're running around like fucking hamsters with this one dude, case. bro. Get an it's annoying. I'll meet you outside. Nigga, we're going back outside. Ah, uh, so no interview. Okay. You know you mean. I need an address for a Grosvenor McCaffrey. Grosvenor McCaffrey. Apartment 6, 126 Yale Street, between Ord and Alpine. Thanks. Let me pose a question. Depends. What you got to do with? Morals. Would it bother you to put the wrong person away? Depends. On what? On whether anyone except the poor son of a bitch in the slammer ever found out. What? But uh, I'm not gonna lie. Why are we going to this dude's apartment if we already have him? We already got him locked up, I'm guessing, because we caught him, but we're going to the apartment after the fact. I don't know. Whatever. Watch it, will you? Nigga, this ain't even our car, bro. We'll be fine. Calm down. Damn. You've helped quite enough. Bro, stop talking about my driving, bro, please. That's all I'm asking. And keep being on my dick about it. This ain't even an apartment. It's a whole house. They just be icy. No, never mind. I take it back. Oh, get out the street. Damn. Please. Do you, if there's just a random dude in this apartment, I, I don't know. I don't know why I just have that feeling. They gonna show me the roof. Hold on, what the... I heard that. McCaffrey is in apartment six. Okay. Somebody gonna be in here for some reason. Just like collecting evidence or some shit. See him? I saw his picture in the paper. He worked that case with a lady that was cut up like the Dahlia. 
How the fuck are you just sitting there? Bro, where the hell is... Is it... Nigga, I don't know what floor he said. I'm, I'm guessing we're at the top. Oh, this is the wrong... Never mind. Wrong dude. Oh, no. Another chase. Look at this. Look at this. Another chase. Another chase. I could have told you that shit. I could have told you that shit. No, go down. What are you doing? Look at this nigga. He's gonna go down up in a chase. Oh my god, you're fucking stupid. You're actually stupid. I'm trying to go faster. He's gonna go the whole other way. <sighs> Bro. I think I got I got this dude completely mixed up with the other dude, by the way. Duh. What's this nigga's name? There he is. See him? Bro, are you just gonna sit there and not trip him or something? Damn. Nigga, shut yo, we don't need you to be a fucking commentator. But I was getting them mixed up with the fuck. I don't know who the dude is, bro. Can y'all please stop being you Robert commentator? McCaffrey? Stay and fight the nigga. good fight. <laughs> Niggas a bitch. Come on, man. Look, I'm about to hawk his ass down. I'm gonna tackle him. I'm over here. Exactly. Yeah, come here, nigga. Come on. Come on, we're right here. We're right here. Come on. Fuck. Nigga, give me the boost. Give me the boost. Give me the boost. Come here, nigga. Come here. Exactly. You don't run, nigga. Come on. Come on. You're under arrest on suspicion of murdering nigga, he's on run. Every single time, bro. We hawking these niggas down like some fucking like a fucking linebacker. Nigga thought he was gonna run away. Damn. We're looking for something solid that ties McCaffrey to the crime scene. Nigga, we just gotta go in that room. It's not even gonna be in the open. It's gonna be like a room or something. I think. What type of fucking apartment is this anyway? Yeah, look at the. Hmm. Isn't this the note that they had? It's the other half of the note. Torn from the letter hmm. found beside the body. Hmm. At the very least, I'd say it ties McCaffrey to the scene. It's interesting. About this book. I mean, we already know that he gave her the philosophy book. Is there anything else? No. Yeah, this is the philosophy book, I think. Or a philosophy book. Anything. Of course, it doesn't tell you anything. I'm trying to sound smart, but you just want to do that to me. Okay. Man, go back over here. Yeah, that's raps. <laughs> it's rap. It's rap. So it's this is done. We don't even need to interview him. All right. So we're just gonna look at this. Like nigga, it's rap. Look at this bloody wrench and bloody shirt. I mean, we don't even need to zoom into it, bro. This is that's that's. God damn, nigga. Just zoom in. Wrong. Yeah. He said he didn't know her. Yeah. And we have the book. Yeah. That's, that's, Let's see Carruthers argue his way out of this one. Let's wrap this up, bro. We need to get downtown and wrap this thing up. Yes, Gotta exactly. Wrap it up, bro. It's over. Unless Tarrenin set him up. You don't think that asshole Jameson could have done it, do you? Nah, whoever did it. At least it wasn't that Dahlia fuck. How do you My know that God. McCaffrey didn't do the Dahlia? We have a list of over 200 suspects. His name was Nigga, never on. 200. Okay, nigga, let's leave. We're done. This is unless unless he got set up. This is it's wrapped up. It's not him. I mean, it's him. Wrench, bloody T-shirt, like every single time. It's every. They just go. You go in their apartment. They just leaving it there in the open. Like, not you're not even trying to hide the fact that you did it. They just leave it in the trash can, wide open. This is wide out in the open. This niggas is just stupid. Damn. Okay, can I get in the fucking car? You're not driving, bro. What are you doing? Bro? Okay, get the fuck out the car, bro. You're not driving. This thing is actually. You stupid. think the list is exhaustive, Rusty? Who am I to argue? Listen, let's just work the case at hand, shall we? Then we can sit down and put all the puzzle pieces together at a later date. I'll hold you to that. Whatever. Y'all niggas stop fussing. Oh my, look at that, bro. Look at the control there. That's crazy. 
Oh, interview time again. I think. Oh, this ain't sure even interview. Make it stick with one of these suspects, gentlemen. It's I mean, McCaffrey or Taylor, yes. Sir. I think Jameson is an aberration. All yeah, right. surely, because I'll we be think it's those two and not Jameson, himself. and when we end up being Jameson, right? Turnin is in one, McCaffrey is in two. I want a confession from one of them. Okay. Don't fail me, young Phelps. Hey, nigga, don't start pressing me, because I will, we will handle you. I don't give a fuck about this job like that. Now, where am I going in? Nah, I actually don't know where I'm going. Where am I going? Door knocking all morning, but I gotta make in the car. Oh, shut the, end. the hell up! Just tell me where I'm going. I'm in here. No. Would I not be in the? Look at that. Would I not go in there? What? Bro, watch out. Watch out, bro. Go. Let me go in here. Why would I not? Bro, watch out. Why the fuck would I not go in there when we're supposed to be interviewing them? The other side. That's what type of shit. It's, it's yes, the other side. Uh, no, it's not. Nigga, well, I'm okay. stumped. Ideas? Put the heat to one of them, Phelps. Your choice. So. Now what? Are we gonna? Can I? Oh, uh, pissing me off right now. How the fuck am I supposed to do this if I can't go in the room? Oh, I gotta interview this dude run? first. I was the last one to see Evelyn that night. I knew you would think it was me. Bloody blood on your face too, nigga. You're lucky we got other dude first, cause I ain't gonna lie, I definitely woulda. I mean, you just ran, so off the rip. Can you describe no. your relationship with Evelyn? I, I barely knew Evelyn. You're just fucking lying. Sounds like half an answer to me, Tiernan. Were you sleeping with her? That's none of your business. <sighs> oh fuck! That's the first time I've done bad cop, and it actually didn't work. I probably was supposed to do accuse. Oh, this is the bowling alley dude. Um, I don't remember this shit. <laughs> it's been like an hour. Aristotle's bro. Metaphysics, the book that belonged to McCaffrey. McCaffrey saw her looking at her once and laughed in her face. And you're saying Evelyn stole it? She wanted something of his. Okay, this is this is this is the perfect time to use uh, intuition because I don't I'm 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 not you know that was my first miss in a in a while you know why is the why is the percentage like that if I press bad cop and it's wrong I'm not gonna lie this community some shit look we either have okay, this on you fine, or McCaffrey fine. you better give us something. Well, McCaffrey's been in trouble with the law before. Yeah, keep talking. Come I mean, on. He makes out it was some kind of labor dispute, but we know I'm that. Not so sure. Okay, nigga, we need you to talk more than about you the and labor Evelyn dispute. were drinking together last night, and she had no other place to stay. I don't know what happened last night. I, I don't remember. We don't like that answer. If you don't give me some reason to think differently about this, Tiernan, what? I'm gonna have to go to the DA. I drank half a bottle of scotch. I don't remember a goddamn thing. Nigga, I'm missing crazy, bro. <laughs> oh my God. Do you own a car, Tiernan? No, I don't. Hmm. Have access to a lug wrench? No, we use a lot of them to clear jams in the pin setting machines. I'm so fucked right now. I can't even lie. I'm, I'm, I'm done for, bro. This, I can't, they're not letting me spam bad cop right now. Rare. That's just rare. And I'm, it's probably, hmm. Let's see. Can I accuse him? This doesn't even seem like an accusation one. I'm not going to be a fucking good cop. Like, regardless, I know this nigga's not going to be a good cop in the interviews. He's, it's, I think that's happened like one time. So, um, look, I'm, I'm going to be wrong here probably now, of course, but. Coroner's report oh, says that Evelyn okay. was killed with a wrench. 
I think you did it and then planted the evidence at McCaffrey's apartment for us to find. Hmm. We went to his apartment. McCaffrey's no. up on the roof. Evelyn stole the book. <laughs> McCaffrey went crazy when he found out. He said, he said he would put her out of her misery. He can be very cruel. Hmm. Evelyn was missing a ring from her right hand. That's strange. She always wore it. Uh, a big black circular disc with a white E in the middle. It was made from an old typewriter key, present from the prop department at her old movie studio. We're going to talk to McCaffrey. Hmm. You need to think about what you've told us, Tiernan. You're not in the clue. Oh, I went two for four. Two for four, bro. Now I'm done. Two for four. That's a disappointing performance for me, bro. They might just take my job. Might just take my job. Two for four. You ready to answer some questions? You think I have all the answers? Oh, look at this People thing. People who bro. run from the police usually have something to hide. Touche, detective. Let's see where this takes us. Yeah, let's fucking see, nigga. Just talk. You told us you barely knew Evelyn Summers. She hung around sometimes. I had very little to do with her. It's just a fucking lie. I mean, I, can I press accuse? Because literally, I mean, there's literally evidence of this nigga hanging with her. But if I press bad cop, they're not, we're going to be like, oh. Like, okay, let's look at you notebook. Pond rings. Missing ring. Uh... Torn letter. There's the book. I don't think the book is good evidence. Store owner, Robin's as far as they didn't buy whiskey. Um I could, I don't think it okay, none of these work for accusation, but I know it's gonna be accusation somehow. Doesn't exactly. Good, it's either you or Tiernan from where we're sitting. Personally, I think Evelyn is better off, but I had nothing to do with it. One for three. Or, Jesus, O oh for one. Evelyn died sometime around midnight. Remind me, where were you? I was the at bar. the bar. Writing. I'm working on a manuscript. Now let's look at the notebook again. Hmm. Tire iron. None of this shit, bro. None of that works. I, I, if I go over two, fuck it. You're gonna need to. I'm do going over two, bro. Swing oh my god, over two, I was bro. A political meeting in my apartment. Cheese and crackers for the fifth columnist. Some of these people will corroborate your story. <sighs> I won't give up names of party members. Good. It's your funeral. Oh, for fucking two. We found the lug wrench that Evelyn was battered with in your apartment, and the note from her mother, and your blood-stained clothing. We have you cold, McCaffrey. You think if I could be bothered to murder Evelyn Summers, I would be stupid enough to leave the evidence in my apartment? That's true. Now let's look again. There's nothing else to do here. I should have used ac accused on the other two, cause now I'm just fucked. I don't know what else to. There's nothing else to pick, besides uh. I could have used this for the other one, bro. I, I fucked myself over here. I ain't gonna lie. I I really did. I went 0 for two. I'm probably gonna go 0 for three. Uh. And I went one for f two for four. They're gonna, f the niggas gonna be mad at me, but oh well, bro. I'm, whatever, bro. If it was planned, oh for fucking some three. evil mastermind. Jesus Christ, they gotta you got fucking, name they McCaffrey? gotta kill me. Tiernan, who else? I was under the impression you thought Tiernan incapable of tying his own shoelaces. It's either gonna be you or Tiernan. Jesus Rotner. Christ. Make my first bad performance in a minute. The party has good lawyers. Fuck you. I hate niggas like you. I'm not gonna lie like that. There's gotta be a way to kill this nigga. I hate niggas like him. Because he just outsmarted me. Uh, I don't know where else to go now. Because I'm just fucked. I don't know what these dudes have to do with anything. 
Where the hell is this phone, bro? I'm gonna have to walk into this office. They're gonna tell me I'm fucking cooked. Operator, give me dispatch. Putting you through now. Through the red light. Said she never saw it. Phelps, batch 1247. How can I help, detective? I need the jacket on a Grosvenor McCaffrey. Just a moment, detective. McCaffrey is exactly. currently under surveillance by the Red Squad. Convictions for petty theft. Dishonorable discharge from the Army during training at Syracuse. Assault on a local woman. Says he almost beat the woman to death. Damn. Thanks, man. Jesus. Okay, we walking right back in that fucking room, nigga. Hold on. Where are we? Oh, right? I mean, they're both on the right. We're going right back in this room. It's all brown room. <laughs> we're going right back in this room, nigga. I'll go 0 for 3, but nigga, we're going to shoot some more shots. Fuck it. You were in the war? Yes, I was. Seeing the things that I saw. It changes a man. Whatever, nigga. I came back here determined to change things. All I wanted was a pen and an opportunity to speak out. You told us before that you had only minor run-ins with the police. You didn't mention petty theft. I've never been in trouble for violence. That's the salient point here, isn't it? <sighs> we're hitting a shot today, nigga. Fuck you. I'm You're hitting a shot, Caffrey. nigga. We're, si we're hitting, mom, I'm hitting this shot right here, nigga. Women. How do you Come turn a couple now. parking tickets in a petty theft uh -oh. misdemeanor into an assault charge? Uh oh, uh oh, uh oh, uh oh, uh oh, uh oh, uh oh. We know all about uh -oh. you and your dishonorable discharge, beating some poor woman near to death in Syracuse. You've never been in combat, McCaffrey. Your whole life is a fraud. She mm. was a goddamn peasant. Uh oh, whore. talking. Tried to steal from my wallet. I could for this Whoa. country i could have you beat her because Whoa. she stole from look at the change of tone nigga come on the I'm playing audacity of the bitch come on. what is this. a man supposed to do sit there and take it how is a man supposed to call himself a man and evelyn summers a he tried to play that little nobody stole your book and she got what was coming to her uh oh that's enough that's enough. I mean, hey, I gotta press X, but let me talk real quick. He tried to play. Look, he tried to play the little calm, uh, the calm gimmick and shit. He tried to act like he was just oh, a little peaceful, peaceful writer and shit. Look what the fuck happened, nigga. We tell, we brought up what you had, what you've been doing. Now this nigga actually showing his fucking true colors. Nigga mad as hell, bro. Like, send his ass to jail. Governor man. McCaffrey, I'm charging. Nigga you said he got what she Evelyn got. What she was, what was coming. She was a sad lady. I never heard anyone except herself. I hope God finds a way to forgive you. Come on, nigga. Nigga tried to play all calm. The calm Congratulations, writer. Congratulations, boys. You bagged the fine catch. Yes. Another red to boot. I definitely didn't go one for four. I definitely I want didn't. You to put this business about a repeat offender out of your mind. This McCaffrey creature shows no remorse. And neither will the grand jury. You would have to walk a long mile to Bro. find a better candidate. For Please do not, do not give me that fuck. Do not show me that image again of that nigga's face looking at me. That shit just scarred me, bro. Uh-oh. They got a bomb in his fucking chest or some shit. But, um, listen, that was, that was a tough mission. I went. Y'all gonna show the tip? Tough mission. Uh... Jesus Christ, $3,500 in vehicle damage. I ain't gonna lie, bro. I was reckless. 8 for 13. What is the percentage of that? 8 for 13 is like... That's like 60. I ain't gonna lie. That was... That was not a good performance, but... Yeah, that's 61%, bro. But we made it through, bro. I ain't gonna lie. Like, you saw... You just saw it. It was... It was looking bad. 0 for 3. That phone call saved my life, bro, because I ain't going to lie. He probably would have made it out. That nigga was playing all calm and shit, acting like, yo, oh, I was, what's it called? I'm just a chill writer and shit. And then the nigga's, the nigga's whole ch mood changed. We brought up the fucking, he almost beat a, uh, a woman to death. So, you know, hopefully he's, he's we're going to, at the end of the day, He's not gonna be the guy we're looking for with all this shit connected with the the BD shit, but whatever, bro. 
at least we got this shit finished. Um, the next one is not going to hopefully be as bad as this one. It probably will be, but uh, I hope not. But yeah, that's it. I'm gone.